Well, I'll leave another answer. Lord, my foot dirty! <laughs> People, from that day, <laughs> to the this woman Jarmin, <laughs> when I go up on stage, all when me I wear shoes, I get trouble with you. Lord, my foot dirty, and everybody start dead with laughing at the audience. So the dirty rest of the scene, me is dirty foot man. You ever hear about dirty foot boy? Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Total Papi Show. I'm Rajon Brown and yes, I know that this is your favorite show. No, <laughs> over the weeks, I've been giving to you some very creative people and today is no different. Let me say no different. You know, you know. No different. <laughs> no different. Beside me is a drama educator, a lecturer, a trained actor, a director and also a scholar. Mm. His name is Aki McNutt, how are you? There, 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 with that introduction, I'm feeling good. <laughs> yes, it's so good to have you here you now because every time I see you, it's on some, in some play, on my TV or on some big stage. So it's so good to have you here on my stage. Yes, thanks. <laughs> so how are you? I am good, you know. I am good. I'm feeling blessed. Glad to be here on this platform. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to having a great episode. A great episode. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, the first thing I want to ask you before, let me just welcome you back from COVID. You know, <laughs> that <this> season passed. <laughs> <laughs> so no COVID because you know the drama people here, you know, the comedians, the actors, they are glad that COVID is over oh, yes. because we can go back to making money. We can go back on the stage, right? <laughs> All right, so Akim, I want you to describe your perfect day to me mm. from breakfast to dinner. Your perfect okay, day. Okay, but think it's a perfect day. <laughs> oh, no, it's a no, day. <laughs> a perfect day. Yeah. My perfect day would be our uh, wake up. Mm. First thing we do, my wake up, I pray it, I do no? um, <laughs> Check the phone. Um, that would be my perfect day, just to see what what's up. Because mm -hmm. um, these days I go to bed early, so you mm -hmm. know I miss a lot. It's age. Cause, you know, most yes. good things happen like you know, from nine onward. <laughs> so you know you might get some messages <laughs> during that time. <laughs> so I check my phone. Um, yeah, I just get ready. Um, you know, I, I don't really have breakfast. I kind of mm. skip breakfast, which is not good people um but then yeah get ready i go to work um i teach a full time at the healing academy big up the school um so yeah i get ready to do that you know of course i look over my list of plans and make sure i have all my pens and my computer for school because i'm a good teacher yeah no i don't do that um, <laughs> i just grab a bubble can grab yeah. and head out you know i try to beat the morning traffic but yeah that's in the morning for, you know, look, when I do get lunch, I want to try, of course, to just catch up on things because I'm always doing, you know, something. So mm -hmm. when I'm not teaching, doing my lunch, I, of course, grab a bite um, with some co workers. So what is that bite? Bite is probably love soup. Soup. So it's a soup, man. So I'm going to get a nice soup from the cafeteria and then I just power with my work link and then I don't know how to sell a big up <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a bite yeah. and then of course go back to teaching and then usually in the evenings I am currently directing a production now mm -hmm. so I go to that, maybe we'll talk about that a later but um, yeah, I would go to that rehearsals in the evening and then I just head back home and we'll repeat Repeat, all right. So yeah. when you go home, there's no excitement, nothing do happen at Of home, course but... not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you go home, you just go to bed, of unlike course. some of you, of course. You know, yeah. So you don't the gym or, or I, any other Well, I started the gym recently because you know, after COVID, you know, I got Christmas. So we do start with gym, big up the Um, so yeah, I do the gym some evenings, most evenings out of the week, so like probably. Yeah, four out of five days, okay. you know, three <clears throat> mostly. And you don't but, eat dinner. Yeah, but we eat dinner. Yeah, well, we we'll like have dinner. Like rice. Depends. But yeah, I have to. I, I eat dinner early. I have dinner early. Mm -hmm. Early, like probably at the five bells and so. Depends on when I finish gym. Um, so I usually have it in a that like a time there and then yeah, you know. I will go here yeah, in a dream man because I will use a dream. Oh, Mister. All right. I will same dream and get the numbers in you know, our cars. You know, 
I will do well with that. But Aki Mignot is the name and I'm sure you'd have seen him on many platforms. But if you don't remember, take a look. Today we're fighting again today at school. What really happened today? Daddy, we can talk when you come in. No, we're we'll talking now. You know, I'm just going to pack for the trip tomorrow. Well, I said. Yeah, man, you see this trip where you think you're going on tomorrow? It's not happening. No? It's not happening. <laughs> Look how we try with a little girl. Yeah? Try? Daddy, them called you for come to school today and you couldn't even find the time for come. You spend more time at work than you do in this house and the neighbors that them when check up on me, them they hear more than you. That is not fair. I mean, might as well just make them in my parents and don't. Turn that back. How can you be so selfish and ungrateful, little girl? Ever since your mother passed me do everything in my power to make sure we keep this roof over our head and trust me, it's not easy. Tisha, you have everything for your comfort. Food for eat, clothes for your back, good education, take that back. Everybody I tell me say, we couldn't do this alone and I should have seen a girl country for make your auntie raise you. But no, you are mine. You are my responsibility. You want something up on my face? No. Then what's wrong? I don't want you to go. I don't want to go either. Have you talked to your parents? Not really, but trust me, Lisa. Come like them just make up their mind already. Well. Apologize to them then. Tell them that you won't do it again. Anything. I tell you, my father and on good terms. And he must say the school and the friends that we may keep a bad influence. I just try to find something for shit me off here, man. And now he come like he will really finally get a reason for doing it. So. I just don't want to lose you right now. I mean, especially with all the madness going on right now, it's just, I just don't want to lose you. And we're not going to have that much time together anyway because I'm going to school abroad and. It's our final year. We're not gonna have that much time together. Want some of my ice cream? <laughs> Look, come on, let me cheer you up. Plus, we're not gone yet, so you can just make the most of me now. Yes, 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 that's you. Mm. Where did all of that start? Ah, uh, yes, you know, that started back at my alma mater, Bridgeport High School. Bridgeport High School for Big boys up, and girls. Right there in <laughs> Yeah, so that's a very funny story. Mm -hmm. So initially, I never passed for Bridgeport High School. I passed for the Arden High School in Kingston, but I was living in Portmore at the yeah. time. Okay. Um. So while I was at Portmore there, I realized that, okay, you know, family, you know, maybe people with decision for you now, no say. Mm -hmm. So at the time, you know, I started going to Bridgeport High School. And, you know, it's just from there, um, in my first earlier years, like grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, I never used to do drama like that. Um, funny enough, mm -hmm. um, you know, I focused on the, the, the academics because I love the sciences. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really um, focused on. But then a teacher came and she changed my life forever. Um, she was just a substitute teacher for a few months and she came there and she saw something in me that I didn't know that was there. Mm. And she's like, you know what, you boy, you know, I'm going to put you in a play. I'm going to bring you to JCDC first. And I'm like, all right, lady, okay, do what you want to do. <laughs> you know, she did that and she gave me Charles Hyatt, puppy love. Which was a play. Oh, we give a piece out now. Um, we give a piece out of something. <laughs> so so, so <laughs> first of all, we don't play now. I got a gold medal. I'm say, wait. So it was, it was that like a, a poem or? It was a poem. It's a poem. It's a dramatic poem by written by you know, of course, Charles Hyatt. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a prose piece. So it's kind of like a story, but kind of like a poem in a one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she did taught me that. But just like a little old man, and I went and I got a gold medal. I'm say, wait. Ooh. Then I went to nationals. I'm get a national award. I'm say, wait. Me love drama. Now. Yes. Yeah, me never get a Hard for nothing yet, so this is a dramatist and a gold medalist, a gold medalist <laughs> and a national awardist. <laughs> yeah, so that we do. And from that, it yeah. changed my life for mm. a really good thing. Latoya Scott, big up herself, she's still teaching right now. Wow, big up herself, so, Latoya. Big up herself. So, let me, me get a piece of the poem. Yes, for time. All right, so Puppy Love <laughs> by Charles Hyatt. When me was a boy, 
a little boy. My mother used to dress me up in a pretty dandan when I was going out, you see. I remember they was having a, a garden party and concert around Lincoln Road Church one time and she was sending me. Shaw like a tuck. That's how I remember. It's a simple thing, you know. <laughs> gold medal, you know. If I were to be a medal now, it would have been gold. That's, that's cool, now. It would have been gold. That's, that's Whoa. Cool, so you had all of that and wanted to do the sciences? And I wanted to do the sciences before, but then when she did that, we totally changed, um, pivoted, and the drama was my thing. So when I went to, you know, select my vocation subjects, I selected theatre arts, and from Ooh. there, she entered us in another competition. I will win the competition. Then I got selected to be in the Jamaica Youth Theatre, which is a youth group um, spearheaded by um, the late Aston Cook and Quindell Ferguson. And from this sort of things go on, I represent Jamaica locally, internationally, and that was um, the genesis of, of Akeem being whoa. creative. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I whoa, am whoa. inspired, you know? <laughs> I feel like I can act. I feel like I can. Of course, I'm awesome, man. You're like talented, something. man. Come like on, do something, something for me right now. Do something for me. Um, no, yeah, no, you have, have to do this and this. Oh, you have to do this. Um, um, I have to remember one Louis Bennett man, the one about, about, about um, New Scholar. New Scholar. Alright, who was supposed to go first? The Sarapo one. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we start off. We have to set some. Yeah, and then say. Oh, we start again. Say New Scholar by Louis Bennett. New Scholar by Louis Bennett. Oh, yes, 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 I remember. Mm. New Scholar by Louis Bennett. I'm pretty like me as a teacher. Good morning, teacher. How is you? My name is Sarah Poole. Allah, you this know is Fibili Kaboy Michael. I'm in this just bring to my school. In Bonner Rainy Day, ma, it was coming on tonight. Right. Ugly baby girl, pretty bit true. For this one. <laughs> What's that? Set? That's my favorite part of the school. Make a practice it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, but who inspired you, though? Ah, uh, we mean generally. Yes, our... to do to, in in those earlier days, who inspired you? Inspired you? Who was your role model? Like you said, yes, I want to be like that person. Mm, there are so many, you know. You know, I used to have a little. Um, it's so very cheesy and cliche, but I used to have like, and you know, I wouldn't say a dream or. Maybe it was, you know, and think that maybe one day all of a sudden will drive, just see me at my yard, just drive past and be like, you boy, I'm gonna put you in one of my episodes of Olive at Large. Cause even though I'm sure by them time, man, Olive at Large, you don't shoot a long time, mm-hmm. you just a sleep on TV. Yes. So man, like, you boy, you're gonna be in this. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm a boss. And many years, well, a few years after that, I actually worked with Olive on several Ooh. different projects. We did Granga, we hosted Grangala together. Mm. Um, I don't work, and you know, and it, it just showed that life was a funny way. Sometimes you might be dreaming something mm-hmm. in the moment and be like, yeah, this is not gonna happen, but it can actually happen. Can't believe. I mean, it never drive up on a gate, you know what I mean? But you know, of course, I was thinking there, you know, my, my ambitions were, mm-hmm. were aligned with something like that happened and it actually manifested. So, you know, think about that, you know, and again, in my earlier years, you know, after, you know, graduating from um, Bridgeport High School, mm-hmm. I went straight in, um, to Edna Manley College. Edna Manley? You know, Edna Manley College and then spent four years there, got my doing degree. Theater. Doing theater? Um, doing drama and education. Oh. So I got my BAs in drama and education. So mm-hmm. I spent four years to become a teacher, right? So that was what I did for my BA. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And you're because no longer interested in the sciences. Boy, you understand? We don't, yeah, we don't do, you understand? I'm just saying, we don't test a score for the neck and yeah. a doctor going oh. in and out. You know, funny enough, I've played a doctor before. Oh. Twice, actually. I did a play with, of course, the late. Leone Forbes, mm-hmm. um, who recently passed. I did a play with her called For My Daughter. Mm. And in that, I was a young love interest for her granddaughter at the time, played by, um, uh, what's her name again? Um, yeah, Daddy. by another talented <laughs> actress, um, uh, Roche, I think, yeah, Roche, and, you know, Rosie Morrow was yeah. in that one. And, you know, just to be in, and Terry Salmon, you know, just to be in, on stage with her, I think it was just a wonderful experience. I'm not gonna lie to you. And yeah, learn enough from her. I'm actually play a doctor, so I learn some big words like, like, like medicine, medicine, you understand? Anti hysterine, band aid, you understand? <laughs> So you're multi-talented, I must say, and you know I'm really proud of all the work you're doing. And at this point in time, I'm gonna show 
all the people who know you and is about to know you another side of your talent. And the first game we're gonna play is called Song Association. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, my arm is playing a game. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sweet. laughs> all right, so how the game works is that I'll tell you a word, and in 10 seconds, you must sing the first song. Not yeah, the first song, mind. not the first song that comes to mind, but a song with that word in the title or in the lyrics. All right. So once the word is in the song, you can sing it. So people, if you never know, now you know. Now you know. The first word is... Wait, hold on, hold on, I'm never ready. I'm going to go to the next song. We're trying to do playlist, quick, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. All right, first word. Mind. Mind? Yes. Free your mind and the rest will follow. God and I. You don't know free your mind. <laughs> no, I you were singing songs. I sing free it. your mind and the rest will follow. It's a big tune. So what about if you ever change your mind? You know that if you ever change your mind about I don't want to show the thing. 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 No, no, don't show the thing. I don't want to show the thing. You will never show it up in that song. We're going to show it up in this one. Yeah. Love. Love. Word is love. Love. Um, Love. 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 I want to know what love is. Hey. I want you to show me Producers <laughs> <Boom. Ooh. laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, We don't want to talk about no more acting, let's just, let's just, let's just sing Let's just sing. quick acting from today <laughs> Let me scrub my talent this right here talent. On total package right. Me is an artist. Yes. I am an artist. What yes. you know about singing? <laughs> <Love. Ooh. laughs> the word is peace. 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 Which one of the peace then? Peace. P E A C E. P E A C E. Uh huh. Peace. 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 Yeah. Peace. 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 Yes, peace. <laughs> peace. I thought you were good at this. Peace is all peace. Peace. No time on the dead hand of the light. Peace. 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 And he's a, a teacher. He's the first time he's teaching the school. Let there be peace on earth. Let. Let. Let me get them classical. Yeah, yeah. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Yes. Broadway's calling. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, I want you to give me a song with the word rise. Rise, rise, rise. Rise. Broken down and tired. Living life like a merry-go-round da, 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 da. I see it in you So we gon' walk it out And move Move Mountains So we gon' walk it out Let me just get to the park yeah, yeah. And I rise up I rise like today I rise up yeah, rise up. No, but rise up, man. Rise up, people. <laughs> rise up. <laughs> no, you're talented musically. Let's go, no man. What about a load up? Me not load it up. We don't want to So you know, so so in plays, you you do you do sing parts in any of those plays? Sing any part? Uh, I have been in a few. I did in. Uh, well, I'm trying to think. I I was in three. That comes to mind right now. Three mm -hmm. musical productions I did Garvey, directed by Michael Hogan, which Michael. Is, is a musical about the life of Mar uh, Marcus. I'm gonna play one bleachers. 
Um, and uh, the second player, did, the other player did, I did a few musical reviews, which mm. are plays. If you've seen a recent production mm. called um, Pitchy Patchy, mm. that oh, you're is, in Pitchy Patchy. No, I wasn't in it. But okay. the, the style, that's mm. what the review is, where you have different, different scenes and you put them. So the style, the genre is called review R E V U E, teach, oh. teach. Yeah, so review, that's a style of theatre. And so I did a musical review, Aston Cook, Jamaica 50 to Rotted, directed by. 50 to what? 50 to Rotted. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so one other is Rati is a word I can use. Uh, I like so well yeah, Rati, yeah, because I, I remember one year but don't call the pasta to Rati. <laughs> 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 So it was a musical review, we sing another one there too. Um, we did another one um, called um, Jamaica Sweet, which is mm. another review. So singing, I was sing to. So we have a little voice, you know, just know where I'm at the world, you know, and the producers, them out there who are looking for your upcoming right. artists. Who can be? Well, guess what? I guess people make the most money when they come at election time because you have to have a PMP song and a JP song. Vote! Who makes the most money? No, no, no. You're going to sing a song from both. Yeah. Labour first. Sing for Labour first. Yes. If you want to see prosperity, you want to get something good. You want to win, 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 win. You want to win, win, win. Vote for the LP. Vote for the LP. Vote for the LP. Goodness for you and me. I want real JP song where you just make that talk just like that talk. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're telling you, I'm in a partial, right? You know? I am a Jamaican, I'm not PNP. I was hoping to hear more than LP. I give it myself a PNP. Ready? P to the N to the P, P and P, vote for all of we. P to the N to the P, P and P, vote for all of we. Vote for P and P. Guys, seriously, I love it. Um, election is around the corner, so I guess we're gonna hear these songs. We're gonna hear these songs. I love it. All right, tell us about the place you've been in. Oh goodness, there have been you know so many plays. I'm gonna try to track. I've worked with um Patrick Brown, I've been in a few Patrick Brown productions, Hurricane Honeymoon, Frank the Freak, uh Right Girl Wrong Address. Ooh. Um I I've done plays with Dana Harris. I did Jamaica 52 Rotted with her, she directed and she acted in it. Mm. And I did one of my first earlier plays that I did first time with the passage that was in grade eleven. Dana saw me and took a chance on me. Dana Harris saw me and took a chance on me. And Dana. Dana play called Backyard in that I play a character called Bottle Drinks. Um, mm. You know, so I did that as well. Uh, I've done, um, of course, For My Daughter. I've done Garvey. I've done um, so, so many Everything. Plays. To a few plays, because that's what I do. I've been building my career for the past like 10 wow. years. So, you know, we've All right. been a few He said many. You know, <laughs> so let's take a look at these. Who are you? I'm Jerry. Sharon's friend from the university. Sharon has no friends. They can leave now. Excuse me? Sharon! I don't want him here. Paul, he's my classmate. Darling, I am your only mate. Remember, I have to work to take care of you. I'll be back shortly. Where are you going? Sharon, I am a popular DJ. I'm going to play at a party. Party so early? Need to mind the business. You're going to see her? Excuse me? I know it's that girl named Monique. Where you get that name from? She sent you text messages. So have you been reading my text messages? Who is Monique? Mind your business. You don't need to know. Don't bring any HIV into this house, you know? Hey, what's your mouth? Man a man, man, man a real big man. Man a man, man a Jamaican man. Man a man, man a real big man. Man a man, man a Jamaican man. 
One girl, one girl, my diamond and pearl. I should be giving my all everything in this world. Real man no play with promiscuity. Vill village man no define your masculinity. Man say have a plan. One girl to the end. Till death do us part. My you understand, understand say. Man, man a man, man a real big man. Big man. Man a man, man a Jamaican man. Jamaican man. Man a man, man a real big man. Man a man, man a Jamaican man. All right, so. Mm. Those are yeah. Mm. Talent, man. Talent. talent, talent. Because in each of these plays, you have a different character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how easy it is for you to get into a character? Mr. Lyad, man. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What I mean, it's it's. I think it's the beauty of of, of acting, and mm -hmm. you know, my thing is, and what I always say to any you know youngsters, any upcoming talent who's out there trying watching and thinking, that, oh, first of all, drama and theater is not advanced ramping, mm -hmm. right? It's more than that. It's, art, it's an art form that the, the people at the most highest they've done. The people yeah. make, make, make millions from it. And mm -hmm. So that's why, from I started my academic career, because I've always, you know, I'm a very ambitious young man. Not only do I want to go on stage and show the practical aspect of performance, mm -hmm. I also wanted to get training in the theory. And Ooh. so I went to India for four years, and you know, of course, I got the achievement scholarship, and I, you know, went to the Gold, um, the Gold, Goldsmith University of London, where I did my masters in applied theater, drama, and educational See, so the same with and community concept yes. <laughs> right here you know so that's what i did um yeah london i'm a second london people <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was a really good experience i really think it's very important for you not just to want to go on stage and think you know you think you need to be loud to get allowed but try to get the training in it as well try to to train because most of those biggest actors you see viola davis meryl streep denzel washington Rajon they, Rome. Uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> they all have acting coaches. Yes. They have acting. So you think that they're there and they're doing this and they sit on in their room by themselves. No. They have acting coaches on set with them that give them feedback, that tell them, okay, don't make this choice. Not that they're teaching, you know, not that they're teaching them how to act or they're telling them what to do, but they make suggestions. Try this way. Try that and they work through it. Because, like I said, we're playing humans. Mm -hmm. And there's a, I'm going to get to you. You want me to get profound now? Praise the Lord. Watch this now. This is going to go type this on Google and you're going to see the little dash and you're going to say, Akeem, okay, man. In order mm -hmm. to be a successful performer, we don't pretend, we become. Mm. Let's take a moment to soak that in. Guys, that was me. You don't pretend. That's in our world, in our essence. And you heard it here on Total Package. Right. That's you don't thing. pretend. We don't pretend. We become. become. So that means when we're playing roles or we're playing characters, you're telling somebody in the audience is truth. Mm -hmm. I've done plays where persons come backstage or uh, call me, send the same man up and make me talk. I come over like, you know something, you know something, you know something, a real thing. But that's what I say, I say off stage. Fun fact, one of my close friends, the first time he saw me on stage, he thought I was typecasted. You were what? Typecasting, I play one, but I play one, bad man. Done. Bad man. And him say, him think, and him say, no man, are you to why? You know, they must get a youth and him just, him talented him. He can play, but the typecast, him get typecast. Mm -hmm. I'm a real bad man. Marie, like, bad him, man. Oh, I'm a real yeah, tuggish yeah. in a real life, and they just cast him <laughs> because he's like that in real life. So yeah. when they came backstage to meet the other cast members that they knew, and they saw me, they were like, wait, are you seeing me with that? So that, you know, so we really become. So you become. We become. Right. We don't pretend. We become. Right. And acting is a is an art form. and should be taking serious appearance. If a pretty tell you, say they want to be perform and run them, mm -hmm. no boof them, no tell them, give them a chance. Just make sure them know them and don't support them as much as possible. So we are. We're out. Whoa, champ. whoa, 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 whoa! Good with the books, people. Good with the books. Good with the books. I send my my child to your school. Yes, please. As soon as I get off the gelding truck, yeah. I'm sending my child to your. Yeah, school. Can we do summer camps every summer? The tropics theater. That's my group that I created. Woo! All right, we we'll stick and stay for for that information. But let me see, you're good with the books, and you're good with it, imparting the knowledge and stuff. Let me see how good you are all right. in all, in another area. We're gonna play a game, Peace. another yeah. game, Behold and it. the game is called Rintas. So let's Rintas. get ready for it. All right, so the name of the game is Rintas, and it's a very simple game. Actually. Simple, 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 One, simple. Two, One, two, three. no three, three. Eight, just eight, done, right? This <laughs> All right, so we have rings on either side, right? And there's a hook right here. <laughs> and the aim of the game is to try to connect the, the ring on the hook. 
Okay. Each time you connect, you move this one space down to your part. And if I connect, I move it the other way. All right. The first person to get it off wins. People, you know I don't lose on this on this show. You understand well, me? Practice every day. <laughs> it's my first time. And this is also my first time playing this game. Uh -huh. All right. Are we ready to go? Yeah, but uh, can I just say that you look like our ancestors you see? Yeah, <laughs> Arawak. <laughs> Very Arawakish. <laughs> see the Arawak there. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's do that. Let's do this one. Let's see. Oh, this is not No, this is Steve. This is Steve, right? I don't appreciate it. <laughs> no, nope. your practice or your yard. <laughs> this is. This is. This is my first time. Come on, you can do it. So I'm gonna understand how it. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get a moment, please? <laughs> team, team. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. Team, sure, yeah? Let's go you again. Have a magnet thing on the table. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow, wow, mash up that song. I like you. See, I'm a little under. I'm a little under. See, no one. See that? Alright, no one. See that? I can't even aim it up. Don't you know what I'm doing? This is a teeth something. <laughs> That's why the arrow them is so ignorant. <laughs> Alright, let's switch sides. Let's switch sides. Alright. Let's switch sides. Alright. <laughs> Look how we're get one now, people, because this is a man with a Alright, let's go. <laughs> no man, I said it ought to be true, man. Alright, see, let me know where I talk. You can't do it. You can't do it. Do so, we can't cross this. <laughs> See? You take off the mud, but I'm bring it off. What's up? this though? I feel like a. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Akeem, come on, you can't do it. I'm just the way I don't know. Yeah, it's. Alright, let's see it. see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see the light. Come on. Come on. And one. Not even one. I'm a genius. Guys, it's basically a thing. <laughs> I am not used to these type of ancient games. Oh, these are the ancient games. We're making like a modern game now. I think I can. Alright, we have one more game to play to show people. And I hope when that time comes, when that time comes, you know, he'll do best. Good job. <laughs> well, let me go back to acting because I think you're best there. Yeah. So tell me the, the, the play, uh, what play have you been in that you say, yeah man, this is a play man, you know, every day you look forward to going to this, mm -hmm. um, this taping. Which play was the best play? Um, you know, there are so many memorable roles that I've done. Um, but the best play, I would say, is Frank the Freak, I know. Frank the Freak? <laughs> yeah, for that reason. <laughs> but no, it's it's kind of like a Jamaican spin on Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Um, you know, of course, Glenn Campbell was in that one, Sakina Dare, myself, um, Keisha Patterson, Courtney Wilson. And in that play, mm -hmm. for most of the play, I am covering my, I'm, I wear a mask for the play. Only thing was my mouth, you know, was... You know, I could only move because I had a proper, proper uh, mask that they got made overseas. I had a hunchback. Mm. I had to be jumping out of trees, jumping off 
and for 90% of the play, I nobody saw my face. Ooh. So I couldn't, I had to use my body, I had to use my voice, and all, to, all of that to transform and I only come at the end of the show. Oh. People who are not theater people, they're gonna be like, oh, you just come here, just start the end. So when the other guy never did a play, they, I'm like, it was me. It was you. So it was a very challenging role, and up to this day, like, you know, it was just really challenging physically. I had to be jumping out a tree, I had to, because he's like a little hunchback man. Yeah. So I live in a one little cave, I'm jumping a tree, I'm seeing it was a I think I watched person. that play. Yeah, it was crazy. That so that play was a really good one. I made real friends, of course, it was TVJ's real friends, which was a teen drama series that was on TVJ. I enjoyed playing the character Marlon, you know, he's a quintessential young young guy and it's so funny because at the time I wasn't at the school <laughs> while I was playing that one so it was pretty you know fun to go back mm -hmm. um, into that school life so those two roles I think to date stands out but I really love a lot of other roles but those are my two favorite you said using your voice is a, is a, is a big thing yeah. I remember watching a play with you when you were stammer I think that play was oh, oh she bought in charge she bought in charge that was my first TV the, the series come. first to come um, I'm gonna play stuff Stammer. Well, People, gonna... look at Stammer. And Kuma. <laughs> and Kuma. Mum, 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 mum. We can talk, 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 talk to your boss. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her, 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 can you? Not time like this. But, but, boss. You, 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 you must f f forgive uh, uh, and forget. What? What you talking about, then, Kuma? What you saying? You, 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 you must f f f forgive. Stop and you're not serious. It's what point you as liar. The, 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 the Bible say, you, you, you must f f forgive so, so 70 the, the, times 7. Them two scoundrel try to misappropriate funds. In other words, I'm being too nice, Mr. Delbert. Them two thief they. So, Mr. Tushishish, mother, thief! Whoa, 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 when the, the Jesus, the, the death on the cross, the, the dying for you, you and me, me. Who, who, who did it beside you? Me don't want it, me don't want it. Me dance alive, you can't trick me. The two thief. And the, 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 don't him f, f, forgive them? One of them, one. Bo, bo, boss, don't, don't, don't play God, God. Learn, 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 learn. F, f, F -f 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 forgive. Nkuma, you're confused. Just in any event, they might do it again. May I put on my foot, right, Mr. Delbert? Some people you just can't tame. Thank you, boss. Bo -bo boss, you, you, you in charge. You, you, you put, put, put things in, in, in place whenever you like and wherever you like. Je, 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 Jesus for, for forgive. Whoa, 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 what about you? <laughs> yes, that's Enkuma, like. Mm. You know, yes, that, that, was, yeah, that was years ago, you know, and it was, it was, you know, it was really, because them time they're young, and I said, boy, this, this is huge, and at the time Shibata was. You know, you know, every 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 arm lay man know Shimada and know what he can do. So to be a part of that I was very anxious. I was like, geez, I'm gonna go flop and just to realize that and cool, you know, people remember Stama up to today. Day. Anyway, my god, people say Stama! <laughs> hey, <Kuma!" laughs> Once they said that the terminal, I was I had some friends that was visiting the other day and we were walking in a we were in a supermarket grabbing some stuff and you know how woman says Stama and crew man, they were like What's that? What are they called? Let me say, don't worry. But well, we give thanks and we, love, yeah. we appreciate the love. But that role was pretty challenging. And you know, if you use your voice and some enough people, them see when I realize them say, wait, take your thought. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so what so you know, what so you know, what you So people, and we go back to and relax. And we go back to you become. Yes, yes, you people, become. He's the greatest thing. <laughs> he's the greatest thing. He's the man. Become. <laughs> So what's the worst thing that ever happened to you on stage? I know that right now because after that at the top of my head, I did a play called Single Entry. And in that play, I was, uh, of course, a young star. My, uh, my mother, my father, and uh, her friend, and my father, when the party come back to Jamaica, and then him try, no, not at the party, him try and get up my mother for God fire. Mm -hmm. He said, single entry, because at that time it was big when people got fired and run off. Yes. 
So my character was, I think, Mark. And uh, there's a scene where them finally, when them go find an establish themselves, them send for Mark. And Mark reach a foreign now and never remember the scene like it's yesterday because when the light come up every night and be like, oh Mark reach a foreign. <laughs> and like the scene before that, yeah. they scene, they're going to get him up and mm-hmm. So it start, the scene starts with me underground because I find it in us rough. So I'm dead up on the scene, I'm covered on the ground, my feet are, you know, my feet facing the audience, mm-hmm. both feet. And the light turn up. One night, we have a very chatty audience. You know, you have some audience where they might talk to you, my girl, where are you? I yeah. <laughs> so we did up on stage, they did and wait for me to so the light come up and I did that sleep and my mother come in and wake me up. I did it and the light come up. So I said, alright, I came, focus on your line. My lady and the audience said, Lord, my foot dirty! <laughs> <laughs> People, from that day, <laughs> The woman charming. <laughs> when I go up on stage, all when me I wear shoes, me make sure I look clean. Lord, Mark, foot dirty, and everybody start dead with laughing at the audience. So the rest of the scene, me dirty foot man. You ever hear about dirty foot boy? I was dirty foot man. Wow, dirty Never foot man. Never again. Play the big up for you, baby. Some people were talking to dirty foot Mark today. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna play another game. We're gonna play another game and I hope you're good at this one. So That's let's go. <laughs> Alright, so you didn't do well on the last game. So we are here at this final game for the show. And you like must do well. You must do well. It's a very simple game, just involved tissue, toilet tissue and a wine glass with water. The aim of the game is to pull the wine glass to the end of the table or the tissue without spilling and the first person yeah. to take the wine glass to the end of the table wins. Now, it is important to note that if you spill and the tissue tear, okay, you know, so once the tissue tear, you have two more lanes over here to just move the water over and then you start back from the top. Isn't that easy? Isn't easy. that simple? Easy. Are you ready? Ready. Ready, ready, ready? Like ready. Alright, let's go to the end of the table. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Just made for you, it's 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 good for you when you are you know just talented and you can you know just do this in a sleep. It's <laughs> no, I'm cheating. I'm gonna practice this. I'm gonna practice the Arawak game. I can't practice this. It's a song every day. Water is life. All right, congratulations. I give you a 10 point. I give you a 10. You know what, one more? Yes, let's do it again. Alright, let's see if, let's see, let's see, let's see people if he's that good. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't rush, you understand? Come don't on, rush. Slow, <laughs> slow touch. touch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're going, we're going this one. I don't like when you just have 10 over for me. Whose side are you on? My side, right? Alright, let's go. You know, I said on the mark. One, <laughs> two, three. The box. Right. If it's here, no, no, keep going. Oh. Me box side. This is what I rotten. That what I dry rotten. See that I'm still with again. <laughs> Don't rush. So I touch. Right. Guys, what are you telling us? It's simple. <laughs> All right, we have one more, and I must get this one right. Let's go. That's simple thing, guys. Let's go. I can't do this in my sleep. All right, people, have faith in me. Just have a little faith in me. All right, let's go. I give him some. One, two, three. Chew some peas. 
shoes. <laughs> All right. See that it's wet now, you know. It's wet, you know. You get mine done, you know. Two of them in the same place. Guys, it's a simple thing, you know. That's what you see when I say in the first part, too. When I say. Okay, we still have a winning people. Watch it, watch it, watch your style. No, watch your style. 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 Live. Team. Watch your team for it. Alright. I must get somebody again. Must get somebody again. Guys, and All of right. course, if you want to learn to play this game, you can <laughs> Cheers to the win. You get how win, you must today. You could have beat by the Arrow game, but you know sure, the game. Right? Sure, right? Alright, uh, you win a game. I'm proud of you. Is that, um, I'm telling you, you say a practice. Yeah. In my mind. Yeah. You watch Queen's Gambit? No. You ever? Okay. Is that a TV show? It's a series. No, I don't know. About chess. Oh. So we just match it up, we just look one time, we just look whoop, 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 whoop. We live. It's not simple, there's some attack life thing. <laughs> Alright, boss, no problem. No problem with that. See, they have achieved a lot. You said they have gone overseas. Where have you gone doing this? Uh, so yeah, so I did my, my masters in uh, London. London, yeah, big up to the British High Commission because they gave us a scholarship, full scholarship to, um, to pursue this master. It was not easy because it's out of a lot of mm. talented um, Jamaicans who, you know, it's just a, a really tedious task. But like I said, academic is something that comes second to me. Mm -hmm. I try to be very article, but when I book time, I book time. And it wasn't easy doing there. My course that I was studying is very diverse. Mm -hmm. So we had people from different countries. So that was really cool awesome. to get that integration. But it, and guys, but me tell you from now, I went to Russia. I mean, I traveled, you know, but while I was there, I went to Russia. Um, it's a group of us, like probably nine Jamaicans of us. And let me tell you this, and I'm going to be real people. When we were in Russia, the people were coming, like we was in Moscow, and people were coming over to take photos of us. At first, we were wondering, like, you know, why, you know? Is this something bad? Is this why are they doing it? But they were very pleasant. Mm -hmm. um, they come and they be like, sir, can we take a picture with you? And we're like... All right, and then I take picture, but it was a lot of us, and but you know, of course, we pick up that maybe because they don't see a lot of you black. know all, black people there at that time. So it was just something, you know, like if you say bold, mm -hmm. but I hear that it's like that in China too as well. You mm -hmm. know, they don't. So it was kind of cool, but it was kind of odd at, at the same time. But we received love, and contrary to what people say, I know that a lot of weirdness are you know a lot of weird things are happening right now. But while I was there with a group of Jamaicans, other scholars, there mm -hmm. were other scholars too, and we had a good time. Well, we had a good time. A really when good I grew up, I want to go to the places you go to. Yeah, yeah. It was cool, you know, went to Scotland and those other places. Because once you're in England, you for those. You can't easily just cheap, cheap, cheap for those other places. Wow. Yeah. So what is teaching like? Um, you teach drama in school, right? Yeah. So how, and a lecture at Edna Manley College. A lecture well. at Edna Manley. Yeah. So how easy it is to transcend the knowledge, the skills, right. everything to these children? I think it comes over time. We don't want to think I get on the board segment, but we just want well, very passionate about teaching, and I think. You know, when you study for what, six, what, five years, um, you know, you dedicate your life to that in, in practical and theory, in trying to teach people, people you learn so many things. Mm -hmm. You know, child psychology, you learn about the art of teaching, you learn the art about teaching drama, which is very different. You learn about, you have a course called assessment in the class where you teach off a math paper <laughs> and grade. Yes, you do, they teach us to do that. Um, so it was just me, uh, I remember when I started, I was very defiant. I never wanted to, like, put me a teach, but I'm like, you know, teach, I want to be a star, I want to be. Mm. but I was already acting, and boy, when I actually went into the classroom and actually, you know, started imparting knowledge and seeing how you can take a child from being, you know, not knowing about a specific mm -hmm. topic, and then at the end of the lesson, they know about it. You're like, yo, whoa, well, I did that. So that was really impactful on me, and that was, again, a turning point for me where I'm like, yo, this is kind of cool. This is kind of wow. interesting. So that's why I'm a big bad teacher. I'm a big bad teacher. My kids call me Mr. Miggy. Miggy. So, Miggy. So many my names. Yeah, Mr. Miggy. Miggy. Dirty food. <laughs> and Kuma. And Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, Mignat is the name, Akim, I mean, you have catapulted, you know, we see all over. You think there's something left in your career that you are yet to achieve, like, mm. yeah, you know, need to go for this. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's always in reinventing yourself, it's always seeing what you can do, because again, this phase of my life that I'm in, I mean, you know, for the past 10 years, I think I've been, you know, building my career as well as, you know, being an educator, because I've always been an educator, but I find time to act. Because it's one thing when you're teaching children to be like, oh, you can do it and you can be a star, but you're not demonstrating that. Mm -hmm. So while I was teaching, I wanted to inspire through my work as mm -hmm. well. So when I'm in the point stage, I act, 
them know me, so they can say, Sir, I'm watch you last night and it was good, and Sir, I never like when I do that. You know, so it's that type of relationship, and that's why Creative Tropics Theatre was born out of the COVID 19, you know, out of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, I started doing some speech and drama classes with, you know, some youngsters 13 to 25. And I got a really, we did it for a couple of months and I got a really good, talented batch of kids and I was like, alright, we can't end this here, so. Mm-hmm. But for this up, so I created um, the Tropics Theatre Ensemble. Um, and yeah, we literally have a show this month then. Wow. Uh, but I don't know when this will be aired, but we have a show this month then. And it's just, you know, that's I think that's what I'm doing now. I'm writing my legacy, I'm creating, you know, my legacy. I want to, 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 to kind of construct what I would like to be remembered for when mm. I'm here again. So, we do my thing, we give the Jamaican good people good entertainment through acting and performing, but I also want to also nurture the next generation of performers nice. through giving back. I love that, so. I love that. We're trying to! I'm looking at humanitarian this now, you know? At the top of the show, you spoke about that same ensemble. Yeah. Right, so tell us about it. Where can we find it if we want to be a part of it? Okay. Uh, tell us about that. Well, Tropics um, Theatre Ensemble, T R A P I X, Tropics Theatre. We are the best. We create, perform, and we express. T R A P I X. That's what I'm looking at. Chant. Um, yeah, so we are, we meet mostly at Stella Maris. That's our, you know, um, home. that's our home for now. Um, we did this production earlier in the year, a play that we designed for CXE students so they can come and critique it for their SBAs because mm-hmm. that's a requirement for them. So we did this play, two short plays. Um, one play has elements of Rastafarianism in it, the other play have elements of revivalism. And they're really talented. I think I have 15 members of them right now. Some were backstage, some are on the stage acting and they will try and rotate it. But I came out of a performing arts group like this, which is Jamaica youth theater mm-hmm. i came from it and a lot of other vloggers that you know now and performers that you don't know came up through jyt as well as we mm-hmm. call it so i wanted to kind of like create that of course Your my, own mentor, version of JYT. my own version of jyt um you know aston cook passed away and he was my mentor he was one of the leaders in JYT, um, jyt so that kind of like the group kind of like assembled a little bit mm-hmm. um since his passing but i wanted to continue that mantle and you know hopefully i can inspire him and he was one of the persons who told me to go for the achievement scholarship mm-hmm. um before he passed and then he passed like a month later you know so Ooh. he even got to see me you know big you know get getting the scholarship and subsequently going to to pursue my master so we had to do that one i feel you know mm-hmm. i always remember i always remember everything he taught us he put me in my first play single intro with the dirty mm-hmm. foot dirty foot he now. wrote and produced that one um so i just want to continue doing that and hopefully we can inspire so that's tropics theater we don't know what we're gonna do yet we keep we journey still and look how we're, we're so are you recruiting now next year we're gonna do auditions in january so you can follow us on our social media pages mm-hmm. um you know on ig and facebook and you can stick and stay and see when we'll tell you about auditions but we, we recruited in january so why you young talent if you think you can do your thing Forward, cause we even had a little competition the other day on Instagram Live where we just call dancers, actors, singers to come on the live and just perform and the winner got 10 grand. Woo! We're okay, no, not a 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. And they creating were a legacy. Yeah, yeah, but big up. Yeah. And you're going you're to hear about Tropics Theatre a lot more. Alright, so if you're a parent watching this or a child uh, that is doing probably 60, this is good for you. So if you have a child, your, your nephew, your niece, or your other relatives and friends, they're doing CXC, I guess it's a perfect time to yeah. stick and stay and wait for more the entire family can watch it. I'll, and I'll get the tickets to come and see it, sir. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Right yes. here. So we'll tell you about it and we want you to support. We want you to join. So tell us where can we, what's next for you and then tell us where can we find you? All right. So, so what's next? The tropics. The tropics. What what's next? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Any big show coming yes, up? Yes, I do. I'm why well, I'm, I'm doing so many things, you know. I will give thanks still. Um. So outside of teaching and lecturing at Edna part time, um, I am doing this production month then, and I'm also directing a play called Nesta's Rock by the Jamaica Musical Theatre Company. And Nesta's Rock is a is a play musical production mm-hmm. with a cast of over forty I youngsters. Love musicals. Forty youngsters. Um, and it is inspired by the childhood of Bob Marley. So when you come and watch the show, you'll see some, you know, it's kind of, it's not, the main character is not Bob Marley, mm-hmm. but it's inspired by Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. And it's of course support and backed by his family. So we are, you know, no pressure, no pressure. 
Right. No pressure, but you know I'm used to it. I've directed two productions with them already, Annie and Beauty and the Beast. Mm. So this one is another one, and it's more close to home because it's a Jamaican production. So I have reggae music and singing this song. Look out for that um mid January into early February, mm. and yeah, just come and support it again because as again again youngsters is a children production. Yes. So. You know what, what we want to give up to the next generation. I see, I see, I see, Akim, you are pouring into children yeah, man, because they are one. indeed the next generation. All right, tell us where can we find you because your work, you know, is you're like a Marcus Garvey. Come on now. You know, up ye mighty race, you work. can accomplish what you will. We need an entire documentary for you yeah. <laughs> about all the works you've been in. But tell us where can we find you? Uh yeah, you can get me on any social media platform. Um on IG, um on Akim Deya. Right here, so Akeem people. Deya. You can follow us there and on Facebook, of course, Akeem Mignot. Mm -hmm. And you can just stick and say, which I have to be entertaining as much as possible on our page. Yes. But yeah. Do you have a special page for the, the, the ensemble? Yes, Tropics Theatre. That's it on IG. Oh, and it's, it's going to be right there as well. So people follow him and keep in touch. Remember, if your church, your school needs somebody just to come in for a lecture, come in to train some kids for a special um, program or something. Akim Deya. <laughs> and we say work with Deya. Yes. yes. We don't have a total package now, but with Deya. With Deya. With Deya. Akim, thank you so much for joining me. Thank yeah, you, man. man. Thank you. Thank yeah, man. You. This is really good. Like, I'm thank you for having me. Yes, I'm inspired. Like, you know, I know you do great things, but, you know, all of these that you have said right. would have said, mm. far so surpassed, you know. We so we thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Akim Mignat, you know. Well, there are special guests that you know light up the place today. Energy, Woo! <laughs> you know, I, I, I had a hard time matching Akeem's energy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I'm Rajon Brown, Authenticity does create its own audience, and thank you for being my audience. Until next week, when we have a next exciting episode, I want you to like, share, and subscribe <laughs> like share and subscribe and i'll see you next week have a good one thank you for watching the total package show please remember to like share and subscribe and join me next week for another exciting episode